Hello everybody, it's Vicky here today designing for Bramble Fox and I am using something out of the brand new May Fox Box. So um, you can see it there, it says details and I've got a funny little photo of me and my dog with a Snapchat filter. So um, I'm going to start by drawing a circle onto my layout. I'm kind of scrap lifting myself here. I've done this sort of thing before but I don't think I did a video for it so um, here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm choosing a couple of colours of watercolour and I'm going to do a messy circle on the page and you see that I drew a circle first with my pencil just to give the shape of what I want to do and now I'm just going to do really messy watercolour around that circle and these are just some Japanese watercolours that I have and that first colour is sort of a teal and the second one that I'm going to use is more of a navy blue sort of colour. So you'll see it as it comes out here. There we go. So I've got the two, those two colours and they're in this collection. The collection I'm using is the Vicky Bootin Colour Story. And um, I really love it. It's got lots of bright, vibrant colours in and I decided to do my mixed media with those colours and then, um, and then focus afterwards on the, uh, the bright colours. So I've dried that off camera, so the watercolour's all dry, and I'm pulling out the stencil set that comes with that collection. And this one has lots of little dots on, which I think are really cute. So I'm gonna, just going to use some texture paste, and I'm going to put some dots around my circle. Just random, no real pattern or anything to them, just a few random spots there. And I dry that off camera as well, and I'm going to just leave those white. I'm not going to colour over them. Um, and I think they look pretty cute. And then I pull out the stamp set. You get all the things with Vicky Booting Collections, all the things, and I love it. So I've got a stays on ink here in stone gray, and I'm just doing, it's almost black, but not quite. And I'm just doing some um, stamping with these stamps around the circle. So it's just adding to the mixed media messy factor around there. And there's lots of different shapes in here. I use the dots, I use sort of like a starburst, some hearts, and um, a f almost like a little floral. So I just go all the way around the circle, and I really like that. It's nice and messy and mixed media-ish, <laughs> no, not even kind of aware of what word I'm saying at the moment, but um, you get the point. So that's my that's my mixed media done. It's pretty simple, not too messy. The paper I'm using is basil marshmallow so I didn't need to put any gesso just for those circles on there and those stamps stamp really really well I had no problems with them at all so I pull out the alpha and I'm going to call this layout crazy details and just because um, we've got extra eyes and, and eyebrows on the snapchat so I thought it was quite funny and um, I love when they have a dog filter on snapchat <laughs> because I love doing dog selfies, it's great fun. So I cut out this from the cut apart sheet, it says love, 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 and then it says this life. Now, life was going to get covered over, so it actually says love, love, love this, which I think is, is quite appropriate. So, um, and adds all those colors in that I wanted to do. So now I'm gonna cut out another from the cut apart sheet and use it as a photo base just to add that dark navy blue a bit more because there's some in the R for crazy and some in the L on one of the love. So I just wanted to add it into a third place. So now I'm gonna cut some flowers out of this piece of paper and I'm gonna cut through that. You won't have to watch all of that, but I cut a few of those out, um, the pink and yellow one, and then I cut out some of the white ones, the black and white ones, with the yellow center. So I'm just, thinking about what I'm going to do with those. I don't want to cover up too much of the mixed media, but I do want to have some florals on there because I'm a floral girl. <laughs> so I'm gonna put stick the photo down and then get some double-sided, not double-sided, um, sticky-backed foam, which I'm going to use on the back of my photo to raise it for off the page. And that's just regular, um, foam that I got from Amazon 
um, it's usually in the kids craft section, I stick it on one side and then I put some tape or glue on the other side to stick it to the page. I just find it much easier for photos than doing lots of different little dots. I do use sticky dots for some things if it's if it's quite small, um, you know, small pieces I do, but if, for bigger pieces I use the foam. So I'm going to start to stick these down. I moved my title around a couple of times you saw there, but um, but that's me. I always move titles. I can never decide where to put them. So I'm going to put a bit of foam just on the back of this photo and tuck it under. Sorry, this flower and tuck it under. And I think that looks quite nice, but I ruffle up the petals of the flower just for a bit of extra dimension. And I do the same with the yellow and then stick that down too. So I've got a double flower there. Then I'm just going to stick these down to the page, these here, but the, the petals come up so, um, so they still look 3D even though the centre of them is flat. So I'm just going to arrange those there. And I'm just looking for some stickers to use here from this sticker book. And I like this colourful circle, which I'm going to put under the middle. And that brings in the, the love um, card. It brings in all the colours from those. And these are the chipboard stickers. And I'm going to put a little arrow pointing to the photo. And I'm going to put... Oh, sorry. No, those, those were the... Um, yeah, they were chipboard, chipboard stickers, yeah. These are the cardstock stickers. And I'm going to put these um, little gold dots around my circle, just to add in with the little theme of dots that I already have there. That just adds a nice little bit of bling, which I love. <laughs> I'm gonna stick down my perspective and that's just using Scotch Tacky Glue, and I find that sticks really well. Sticks them down really well onto mixed media. Little gold arrow there, pointing at the photo as well. Just to pull a bit more of that gold in, as I have it in a few different places. And a chipboard gold heart as well, just so that I have the gold in three different details on the page. And then the last thing I'm going to do is put a little tab on the side of the photo and I'm going to write the date, which is January 2021. Um, just on there, nice and subtle. And that's it. There's the final layout. I hope it, it gives you some inspiration and gives you a bit of a boost to try some mixed media if you don't often do it. There are some close-ups coming up as well so that you can see those. Please do let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help. But um, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Bramble Fox. Bye-bye.